We've now got a great feature with the Flex containers where we can make them clickable. I'm not just talking about the parent container, but the child container as well. Now, there are some slight drawbacks to it that I really do think I've got to highlight to you. So don't just start jumping in and going, yay, we can have a link. I've got to explain a few things about it. Now, what is the benefit of a clickable link? Well, before you could not make your sections or your columns clickable. You could with some code and all of that, but if you want to keep it really easy, you could be showing off an image, a banner, a product, maybe loads of details. And when the user clicks on that item or that area, it takes them to a page in your website or another page, or it could even take them to a open up a pop-up as well. You could activate that. But let me explain a few things. Um, now I've got over here a parent container and I've got two child containers within here. I actually used this widget over here or this layout and I've intentionally on this uh, parent container added in 60 pixels padding and over here for the child containers I've added in about 30 pixels padding within. They both have an icon, they both got text. At the moment nothing is activated on there. If I go to the parent section Container, sorry, parent container. I'm going to go over to layout and over here where you have HTML tag, I'm going to pick A. Go all the way down and pick A. And then over here in a link, I'm going to drop in a URL. We'll just drop in the URL for this page like that. Okay. And then I can click update and that will now become a clickable area. Now I do want to mention though, you do have the options to do open in a new window and you have dynamic tags. So down here, I could pick pop-up and then pick the relevant pop-ups. They click on a container and it opens up. Let's say you're showcasing a special offer and you put the word click here. Rather than it being a button, it's now the entire area is kind of activated. So they click it and away they go. So I'm gonna hit update. So I have put in a URL for the container. Now this container, I must stress, okay, is a row and I've checked all the settings. It is perfectly fine. It looks fine. It's not a column. It's not doing anything funny. The entire container now is clickable. Look, can you see my, can you see the, um, my cursor? When I move up, I now get the, uh, the finger. And this entire area, not just the gray area of the parent container, but the two containers within as well are all going to be going off to that URL. So, so far, so good. Now we're going to go back over here. I am going to go over to this container and I am now going to go to the layout. I'm going to go to HTML tag. I'm going to add in an A and I'm now going to add in a different URL. Now, straight away, your brain must be thinking, well, obviously, when you go to this section or container, it'll have one URL. But because you've added in a different URL for another container, when I hover there, it will take me elsewhere. But here's where we have a little bit of a bug going on. Let me now preview that. This now looks nothing like what we've got over here. Can you see the big difference? They've kind of stacked themselves up now. So I have this set container here that has the first URL. I go over here, there is now no URL. And I go over to this container, it's got the second URL. So we've now got this kind of split going on and it is really, really weird as to why this is happening. If I go back to the parent container and I take off the A, okay, I've taken off the A, right? So it's now only on the child container, container one. Let us now update again. And we go back over here. It's now okay. But we now no longer have, look, there is no finger. There's no finger anywhere for the first URL. But we go to this container, it doesn't matter where I am, you should be able to see the URL down here, okay? I've just done google.com uh, there, right? So if you apply a URL to the parent container, it messes up the layout completely. If you apply it to the container within, you're okay. Does that make sense? And if I was to go over back over here and I go to the parent container and I say, um, give me an elements gap like that, an update, again, just to reiterate how this all works, nowhere here is there an active URL, but there will be on this container. However, if I go over here and I now drag a container to sit inside the parent container, so now I have a inbred container. 
I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna just stick in a icon for the sake of it. And I'm also gonna give this a different color just so we can identify it. Let's go with a white color there and we update that, right? If we now go to preview it, it's now kind of working okay. So the parent container is where the problem occurs, but the child container is fine and the inbred container was fine. But let me now go to the inbred container, right? It's not called inbred, by the way. It's just me doing my wording. I'm going to give this an A and I'm also going to give this a URL, okay? Like so. And we're going to update that. Now when we view it, can you see what's happened there? It's completely like broken itself up. So if you have an active URL, within an active URL, it breaks. So it's almost like you can have it, but the parent of that active one must not have a URL. So if I go here now to this one and remove it, so the parent hasn't got it and the child hasn't got it, and we now update, it's now fine. So if you're gonna have a container with a URL, if you add any further containers with URLs, it won't work. So just make sure that the container with the URL, before that, there must not be a URL. Well, let's test it further. The inbred container's got it, the child hasn't. What if we add it back into the parents now? Let's try it out, let's update that. Is it gonna break again? And it has, look, can you see what it's doing? It's completely going, stop it. Okay, so if you are gonna have an active container, sorry, an activated URL, make sure the parent, the grandfather, the great grandfather, all of your ancestors, all the way back to the dinosaurs, they must not have an active URL. And then you'll be okay. Does that make sense? I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Don't lose hope. It works if you know what you're doing. Take care, I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing what I mean.